Over my past two episodes, I have lost over $1,000. Today, I'm looking to bounce back. How's it going guys? My name's Evan and welcome to episode 25 of my poker vlog. We are here at MGM National Harbor playing some one three no limit. The max buy-in's 500 here, so that's what we're gonna be buying in for. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first table I sit down at is very tight and passive with not a lot of action. Except for this guy. He's been playing very well and is clearly the best at the table. Here we look down at king-queen offsuit in middle position. I make it 15 to go and only the good player makes the call. We go to a flop heads up that comes jack high with two spades. If this was anyone else at the table, I would consider throwing out a c-bet here. But since it's this guy, I decide to check it. After I check it, he bets $15, and I consider floating here with king high, but against this player, I don't want to overcomplicate things. I make the fold, and without even asking, he shows the jack of diamonds, so made the right play there. Here I'm under the gun and look down at some ladies. I make it 15 to go, and only the good guy calls again. We go to a flop heads up that comes 973 with two clubs. I decide to bet 20 here, and after he thinks about it for a sec, he decides to fold. I think against this specific player, it could be good to mix in a check here. So after playing at this table for about an hour and a half, there's just not a lot of action, especially after the good guy left. So I decided to get a table change down to about $25. Here in the small blind, we look down at ace-king offsuit. There's a couple limps to me. I make it 20 to go and under the gun and middle position make the call. So we go to flop three ways that comes 9-5 deuce with two clubs. Out of position here against two opponents, I decide to check. Under the gun bets 30 here and middle position folds. When it gets back to me, I don't really have any backdoor flush draws or anything, so I decide to just make the fold. So here in middle position, we look down at ace-queen offsuit. There's a raise to $11. I make the call for 11 and then it folds all the way to the big blind, who decides to go all in for $57. When it gets back to the initial raiser, he starts to think about it for a sec. My plan here is if he doesn't call, I will. But after thinking for a little longer, he decides to make the call. So now when the action's on me, I'm just a little confused on what I should do here. I've only committed about $11, but the pot is already over 100. I'd appreciate some feedback here on what you would have done, but I decided to make the fold. It turns out the initial raiser had pocket fours, and the big blind ended up having ace-queen offsuit as well. The flop came out queen high, so we would have at least chopped up the money that the initial raiser had, but other than that, I didn't know if there was that much value to be had. On to the next one. So about 30 minutes later, we pick up a pretty good looking hand on the button. Ace King suited. There's a $6 under the gun straddle and a couple limps before it gets to me. For that reason, I make it 20 here and we get two calls, one from under the gun plus one and another from the player to my right in the cutoff. We go to a flop three ways that comes King 9-9 with two hearts. Pretty good flop for my hand. The first player checks and then the player to my right was really funny this entire session. I'll just let you listen in to what he was saying. If I check, are you going to bet? You can't answer that question. I check. Two. 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 More. <laughs> so the cutoff checks and I decide to bet $35 here. The under the gun plus one player calls the 35 and the cutoff folds. So we go to a turn card that kind of sucks. It comes to four of hearts, bringing in the front door flush. Under the gun plus one checks it to me and I decide to control the pot here. I check it back. The river rolls off the six of clubs and this time 
under the gun plus one decides to lead into me here for $50. I go pretty deep into the tank here, but as I'm thinking, we can put under the gun plus one's hand into three categories here. He either has A, a flush or a hand with a nine and is looking to get value on the river. B, a weaker king such as king queen and king jack. Or C, a hand worse than a pair of kings and is turning his hand into a bluff. Now this player is somewhat new to the table, but pretty recently this player attempted to bluff someone, so I know this player is capable of bluffing. Given the price of his bet and the size of the pot, although we are going to be beat sometimes, I decide to flick in the call, and he ends up having a hand I was not expecting. Pocket Queens. So he limped preflop with pocket queens, and on this river, he decides to turn his hand into a bluff. I'll take it, I guess, but I'm pretty happy with my call here. So here in middle position, we look down at ace four spades and raise it up to $15. We end up getting three calls and go to a flop four ways that comes jack high with one spade. The first player to act checks, I check, and the action checks through. The turn's a pretty interesting card. It comes the six of spades. So now we pick up a backdoor flush draw. The first player to act here bets $40 here. Looking back, I'm pretty sure I'm actually not getting the right odds to make this call here in relation to the pot, but the player to my left is already assembling calling chips. So for that reason, I thought if I made the call and the next player made the call, there's a good chance I could win a big pot if a spade comes on the river. So for that reason, I made the call and the next player to act did in fact make the call and the last player folded. So three ways to a river that unfortunately comes in offsuit six. So we're here with ace high still. So the action starts on the player who bet 40 on the turn and he starts to think about it for a sec. After he thinks about it, he actually checks it to me. Here with ace high, I'm just a little confused on what I should do here. So I decide to check it and the player to my left checks as well. It turns out the player who bet 40 on the turn just has king high I have ace high, but then the player to my left has 10-7 of spades, so he also had a flush draw, but his pair of sevens is gonna win it. I'm a little confused on how I should have played this hand, feel free to leave a comment on what you would have done. So here we look down at king jack suited in middle position. I make it 15 to go, and we actually end up getting four callers this time. So we go to a flop five ways that comes king queen four with two clubs. It checks to me. I wish I went a little bigger, but I decided to bet $25 here. We get two calls, and then the last player to act raises it to $125. This is the same player that was just bluffing when we had ace four spades, so I'm really tempted to call here, but he has me covered, and I only had about $450 in my stack to start this hand, so calling this bet is pretty much pot committing myself to an all in on the turn. With two players behind me still to act, I was a little confused on what to do here, so I made the fold. The two players behind me folded as well, and he ended up saying nice fold, so he might have had it, might have not, who knows. So here in middle position, we look down at a pretty good hand, ace king of hearts. I make it 15 to go, and we get two calls from the button and the small blind. We go to a flop three ways that comes 8-7 deuce with two clubs. Planning to check here, but I don't even get the option because the small blind leads out for 20 here. I'm curious if against active players I'm supposed to float here with ace-king, but I decided to just make the fold. The last hand of note, I'm under the gun plus one and look down at ace-king offsuit. I make it 15 to go and we get one call from the cutoff. So we go to a flop heads up that comes king-queen four. I throw out a c-bet of $20 here. And after he thinks about it for a sec, he decides to make the fold. At this point, I've been playing for about five hours. And instead of chasing my losses, I decided to call it a day and hit the cage. So we were in for 500, out for 390 for a loss of 110, bringing our 25 episode total to a profit of 1356. 
Honestly, I think I played okay. It was just one of those sessions where I could barely make a pair, and sometimes that just happens. I'm definitely gonna come back though. I really like this property, so I definitely wanna come back again sometime. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.